Hi Libra, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. In this reading, I'm going to let you know how your person feels about you, if you are dealing with someone, their next move towards you. And I'm also going to pull cards for singles at the end, well towards the end of the read. So this is especially if you are in separation and wondering, you know, if anyone new is coming in or if you want to still be with the person you're with. But let's see. Keep in mind, this reading is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate. So you can always check your other placements if it doesn't resonate with you. What's going on with Libra? The person that they are dealing with, the person they are... Okay. <laughs> we have death. This is Scorpio energy, also transformative energy. What's this person's energy towards Libra? This person's energy towards Libra, oh my God. Okay, we got two cards out of this, you know, explosion here. Three of Cups and the Five of Swords. Such mixed energy with this person. It's almost like they're going through some, as you see, they're going through some kind of transition. And I feel like this person isn't sure how to feel. I feel that they feel that they've been overpowered in some way or feel like their their ego or their pride has been hurt so there's there's this desire to reconcile with you but there's also this inner battle that's going on i feel like it's an ego thing with them and so that's making it difficult for them to actually get along with you they kind of want to have it all want to feel good about themselves and reconcile with you but something about you i guess has maybe triggered them to have to look into themselves and go through some kind of transformation but let me see what's libra's energy towards their person libra's energy towards their person okay Ooh. you over here very innocent energy you <laughs> you do want to come out of any type of um separation disagreement your energy is really positive towards this person it sucks that they they have some type of negative energy towards you they have good energy where it where it comes to them wanting to reconcile them wanting to make peace with the three of cups but then there's this five of cups where it's like they feel that you affected them in some negative way maybe you triggered them or you know when you know when someone hears the truth about themselves and they can't handle it like maybe something like that or you made them feel you made something some type of insecurity in them um real you, you brought it to their attention and they feel uncomfortable with that but at the same time they miss you so you're over here with all this positive energy towards this person the fool the page of cups wanting to make peace wanting to come out of this feeling of loss you also have the nine of cups as well so you both want to have your wish come true you want to reconnect with this person with the six of cups but i feel like what you're not seeing is that this person <laughs> something you either said or did kind of triggered something dark in them where they've had to face the truth about themselves if that makes sense so that's why they have some type of negativity going on in their energy because they've been triggered but this death card tells me that they are allowing themselves to work through that allowing it to transform them so this is a positive but they still need time i guess what's, what's the mutual energy here what's the mutual energy between the two okay both have faced some type of um disappointment i feel like you're both disappointed or see this um separation or disagreement as you know unfortunate seeing things at a standstill neither of you have made the move here with this knight of pentacles what's coming up in the near future for this connection for libra we have the world Oh, we got the unfinished business. You guys are not done yet. I don't know if it's... Um, 
there's some there's something that still needs to be learned here and I think it's to do with this person like this person is needing to face a lot of things within themselves and the more you bring this to light the more uncomfortable they feel but at the same time they still want to come towards you like it's like they're attracted to you they have feelings for you but you keep reminding them of something that they've been running from and you probably don't even know that you're doing this I'm sure you're not like forcing it on them or you know you're doing it without really knowing okay let me see what are the love messages for Libra okay let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others we have codependency affections are, are sorry affections <laughs> addictions are affecting your romantic life and free yourself it's time to take back control of your life so this looks like the energy of the person who is who has these triggers so if it's it could be vice versa by the way it could be them triggering you but whoever has these triggers whoever has this this codependency in their energy is constantly being reminding reminded of it because it needs to be worked through so that that person can free themselves from that negative energy we have unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going so there may have been a, you guys may have taken a break here let me see something why is it unrequited love why is it unrequited okay the star it could be an aquarius for some of you there is a push and pull here there's a push and pull you know what I feel like it is I feel like something is I feel like there's chemistry until until somebody is triggered that's when that person starts to doubt everything about this relationship there's no um, guarantee that this relationship is going to last forever for some of you it may but for some of you it's a lesson for some of you, it's your spiritual growth. It's a karmic situation where you guys are here to teach each other, to help each other um, heal and grow. So you may or may not end up together for the long run. But there's, I feel like there's a lot of lessons here still. Which is why you guys may come back together. Um, doesn't mean that it's bound to not work out. I just know that there's a lot to learn here. For someone in this connection if not both of you so let me look at your main spread and see keep in mind I'm, I'm now getting the message that some of you may be talking to more than one person or have more than one person in mind maybe some of you are just dating around so this could uh, this could just be speaking of one person there could also be someone new coming in for you so all hope is not lost let's see What's going on with any connection for Libra? The feelings, the energies. What does Libra need to know here? Devil in reverse. Okay. Capricorn energy. Um, Virgo energy. Some of you this is a soulmate connection because in the position of what you need to know you have the two of cups so either this either this is a soulmate connection or there is one very close by to you on the way into your life but this is coming up as what you need to know so you need to be aware of some kind of soulmate connection that is in your energy or drawing near um, this person they're seeing you as the hermit in reverse so I don't know if you're dealing with depression or you've shown signs of signs of that or signs of sadness but they're seeing you as being withdrawn and just not really open someone is seeing you that way and I see that there is someone who This person, this this star reverse here, Zephyr, is, is letting me know about this person's um, 
fear of being triggered or the discomfort they feel when they are triggered this is this is a typical like karmic type of situation where there's triggers involved there is um down moments there's lessons this person does want a positive outcome and they are possibly going through or soon to go through a spiritual awakening hence them having the death card and you got the high priestess and keep in mind this could be vice versa so this could be speaking about you needing to go through or going through a spiritual shift going to a higher level spiritually with the high priestess but i am seeing this person they may they could be dealing with depression or trying to heal trying to heal this codependency but for a while they're going to stay in the discomfort they are still learning how to nurture themselves and how to love themselves and there is this three of cups in reverse we also have the magician in reverse so some of you are dealing with someone who is just unable to be them themselves right now because they're really triggered they may be very damaged and they're kind of just living out their traumas they're slowly freeing themselves from this they're slowly getting there but it's slow i feel like it's very slow they're seeing the relationship as the eight of pentacles in reverse this person has quite negative thinking i feel like if there's a separation between the both of you this person is seeing this as you know doom like they just feel they just feel they just think negatively it's not that they're not interested in you this person as i saw they want to reconcile but it's like their thoughts in their thought in their their way of thinking is like really negative and they'll they'll just think okay it's just not gonna work you know nothing ever works out for me so you know there's no point this is why they're not even nurturing themselves in this time because of their way of thinking and it's like I wouldn't even advise a lot of you to try to help because you might get dragged down with them so it's best to just kind of observe and observe and focus on you and if this is you that is speaking about thinking negatively you do need to work on those thoughts try to pull yourself out of this hermit in reverse type of energy because there is there is positive potential out there for you why the three of cups why the three of cups in reverse you see this this reconciliation wh whoever is thinking these negative thoughts this is exactly what's stopping the reconciliation from happening this eight of swords someone being stuck in their head not able to think differently not, ab not able not allowing themselves to think positive they're just stuck it's like it's easily it's easy for them to get out is to just see things differently change the way they think but no they're choosing to stay stuck it's exactly what i get from this person's energy it could be them it could be you somebody here is is experiencing this staying stuck in the headspace it's causing it's, it's like it's almost like nothing being able to grow you know what i'm seeing i'm seeing like on lion king where you got the the place where a scar and his son lives and it's, it's an elephant graveyard yeah elephant graveyard nothing grows there it's just dark and gloomy there's skeletons you know it's like this that's where this person's mind is and they're not allowing themselves to see any type of light so I don't know if this person is an actual narcissist where they're just down in that dark energy and it's almost impossible to get out, but they're trying or something, something. But this high priestess is telling me that they, they do kind they, they do kind of have hope for themselves a little bit because if you're wishing to get into this high priestess energy, that means you're wishing to raise your vibration wait raise your energy why does devil in reverse okay
Why the hell it in reverse? Devil. Hermit. Okay. This person. In the right time, they're going to come up out of this. Whoever is dealing with this energy. In the right time, it's going to happen. But... For some of you, this person may be dealing with bad karma, either that or they dabbled in some type of negative um, work like witchcraft, Ouija board type stuff. I, I know that's not for a lot of you, but with the high priestess in reverse, the devil in reverse, could be someone who dabbled in something. But for right now, Someone is staying in that energy in the right time, in divine timing. They will come up out of it. It's just that right now they're keeping themselves really stuck. Let me see what we got here. What do we have here for this connection? Know your worth. Separation. Fate and love. So this is all happening for a reason. You do need to know your worth. Don't let someone drag you down. Um, I do feel like, like I said, everything's happening for a reason. So this does have to do with fate. In the right time, this person or whoever is dealing with this will come up out of it. But stay tuned if you do have someone else in mind, because I'm going to pull cards for that. But for now, I'm just seeing this person here show up. What's the advice for Libra? advice for Libra your dreams need a practical plan don't let your past hold you back work through your fears and don't let pride get in your way this is all like this is like whoever's dealing with that stuck thinking gotta work through the fears and don't let the past hold you back so obviously when it comes to stuff like this where someone's just stuck in their mind stuck in negativity it's because something happened in the past there was some pain in the past that's keeping this person stuck so whether it's you or them someone needs to release the past and the fears and have a practical plan of moving forward of improving their life so we've got taurus and scorpio energy and leo we also have Gemini, Capricorn, Virgo, and Aquarius. What are the messages for Libra? We have trust. Remain positive. Ask for help from others and in the near future. So, we have asked for help twice. Someone really needs to seek assistance with this. Someone needs support here. Someone needs to free themselves from this energy. But let me pull cards for singles. Even if you're not completely single, even if you're still dealing with this person, I want to see if anything positive comes out of this. So for single Libras, what's coming up for single Libra? The sun comes out, thank God. Transformation, we're back to square one. Someone is going through transformation. This could be spiritual awakening, going to the next level, healing and releasing the past, freeing yourself, taking back control of your life. This is the theme here. You or your person or both of you going through a change and there's positive benefits here with the sun. But you have to put in the work. Who's showing up for single Libra? 
near future who's showing up for single Libra. Oh boy. So we have, I feel like your, your past, whether it's your parents coming forward and apologizing for something or someone from the past who broke your heart in a past relationship, showing up to help you um, to maybe give closure or apologize. But what's showing up for you is, is hurt from the past, but I feel like it's to release it, no longer holding on to it. So when this shows up, whether it shows up in the form of a person or feelings, you know it's coming because you got the three of ones. You have to allow it so that you can release it. It's coming back to be released once and for all. Whoever it is, whatever it is. All right, it's additional. What's coming up in the near future for single Libras? You see that ten of wands. You are releasing that past taking that weight off your shoulders and coming out of conflict with someone but most importantly with yourself you are going through a transition and look at that the ten of pentacles after all of this after you get through this transformation you're being led to this ten of pentacles releasing it coming out of the conflicts the drama is the is a thing of the past I'm being drawn to this love card here. I just see a pure cleansing of the heart. I'm seeing light coming in and clearing out something. This Ten of Pentacles is going to be worth the journey. It's going to be worth the journey. It doesn't matter who shows up. You are go you're going through something that's bigger than you, bigger than anyone who's ever been in your life. And you're going to see that when you become this whole new, what do you call it? I'm looking for an R word. Renewed, refreshed. New person. Okay. You're moving on. You're moving on from unfortunate things. You're going to have a lot of options. This, oops. This could be to do with love. This could be opportunities, but things are opening up when you do clear out your energy. And this could be, like I said, going on for both you and your person because like attracts like. So most likely you're both going through something, going through a transformation. You'll have so many doors open up to you love and opportunity for work you know to make your dreams come true it says your dreams need a practical plan you'll have a more clear mind to really set a plan in motion so this, this has been like a mixture of your general life and love hopefully you guys got something out of this and this is what i'm seeing got cancer energy showing up leo and scorpio any of these signs could be coming into your life. Taurus, Leo again, <laughs> Scorpio again. So, Leo, Leo. Maybe it's a Leo. So, I said it three times now. Libra, this is what I'm seeing for you. Hopefully, this was helpful. Feel free to check your other placements if you want to know what else is going on here. More about love, especially, because this was like a mix. <laughs> so, like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, hit the notification bell so you know exactly when the next Libra reading is posted. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.